This video is on gases and volumes and the last question has a very difficult molar ratios question. One mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cubed at room temperature and pressure. Room temperature is 25 Celsius and pressure 1 atmosphere. So the equation you need to know is volume of a gas equals the mass of that gas divided by the MR of that gas times 24. Have a go at this question. What is the volume of 16 grams of oxygen? So we've been given the mass, 16 grams, we've got the mass. We need to work out the MR. If you go to your periodic tables and look up oxygen, it's always the biggest number which tells you the relative formula mass. So the relative formula mass turns out to be 16 for one oxygen. So the MR equals 16. However, notice we've got not one oxygen, we've actually got two oxygens. So that's 16 plus 16, so that's 32. Right, so here's our equation. We've got volume, V, equals mass divided by MR. So our mass is 16, our MR is 32, so that's 16 divided by, by 32 times by 24. So that works out as you've got 0 0.5 times 24, because 16 divided by 32 is 0 0.5, so that comes out at 12. The units, as seen up here, are dm cubed, so that is 12 dm cubed. So add that in, dm cubed. So again, pause the video and try this question. What's the mass of 48 dm cubed of nitrogen? So in this question, we have to rearrange the equation to get it to equal mass. The way to do that, well, we want to get uh, mass on its own. So if we times both sides by the MR, so we times this side by the MR, we have to do the same thing to the other side. That The, the um, MRs will cancel out here, and what you'll end up with is this equation. Volume times MR equals mass times 24. So we want, want to get rid of the 24 now, because again, we want mass on its own. So the opposite of timesing by 24 is dividing by 24. So if we divide by 24 on both sides, so divide by 24, what that gives us is volume times MR divided by 24 equals mass. So we know the volume, which is 48. Uh, we need to times that by the MR. Well, if we look up the MR for nitrogen, so MR of nitrogen, it's 14, but again, there's two of them, so that's 14 plus 14, so 28. That's equal to 28, so let's put that there, that's 28. We divide it by, the, um, by 24, and that will give us our mass in grams. So that comes out at 56 grams. So this question is pretty much as hard as it gets in GCSE. So we've got find the volume of CO2 produced in the following reaction. So you've got C2H6 plus oxygen going making CO2 and H2O. This question is hard because it involves molar ratios. We've got one mole of ethane, C2H6, reacting with 3.5 moles of oxygen. People often get really confused. How can you have 3.5 moles of oxygen? Remember, moles is just a ratio. So we've got, for every one of this, we've got three and a half of these. So if we had two of these, we'd have seven of these. It's just a ratio. Now what really matters here is the ratio between the C2H6 and the CO2. So for every one C2H6, it produces two CO2 molecules. Okay, so the first step is figure out what information they've given us. So they've given us 60 grams of C2H6. So we're going to have to start with the C2H6. And the way to solve these sort of longer problems is always to work out the moles. So moles, equal, so moles equals mass divided by MR. Right, we've got the mass. So we've got the mass. The mass equals 60. We need to work out the MR of the C2H6. Okay, so if you look on your periodic tables, you'll find out that carbon has an AR of 12. But we've got two of them, so that's 12 plus 12. You'll know that hydrogen has an AR of 1, 
So that's, uh, we've got six of those, so that's plus six. So that comes out at, what, 24, 30. So we've got an MR of 30. So that's 60 divided by 30, so that's going to equal 2. So we've got two moles. Let's write that in. So I write it in here underneath the C2H6. We've got two moles of that. It's a really good idea to write it underneath um, the full balanced equation. Make sure your equation is balanced, by the way, or this technique won't work. Okay, so I've got two moles of C2H6. So what's the ratio between the C2H6 and the CO2? Well, you can see there's one of those makes two of these. So it's a one to two ratio. So whenever you're dealing with ratios, what the easy way to do it is you divide by the number here, which is, um, is a one if there's no number. So that's two divided by one, which is two. And then you times by the number in front of this molecule, which is two. So it's two times two, so it means we must produce four moles of CO2. Right, so notice in this equation, we want to look at volume. So volume equals mass divided by MR times 24. Well, mass divided by MR equals moles. Mass divided by MR. So we can substitute this bit for moles. So I'll just I'll rewrite this, but here, this is all moles. So the volume equals moles times 24. Volume equals moles times 24. Right, so we've got the moles. The moles equals 4. So it's 4 times 24 equals the volume. So, so that comes out at 96. And the units are dm cubed, so it's 96 dm cubed. And that's the answer to our question. That was on how we calculate gases and volumes, and that last question on molar ratios.